to talk very briefly on computer gauge points. Especially with computer gauge points, I have a drawing that I used for the getting the uh, CMM data. I don't know if, it, if you've noticed, but the this is a, a drawing of the uh, plan view of the Chrysler class member. And when I went up to get the part measured on a coordinate measuring machine, I wanted to be very clear glancing at the part where the different measurements were. The part is manufactured uh, referenced against two holes. Uh, these two holes, hard pins come up and the pieces are put on reference to these two holes. These two holes and uh, so, uh, two surfaces in the Z direction and now determine the datums by which the part is measured. And that, and th this is the datums for the coordinate for the CMM data. Okay, the uh, the artist rendition that Jay was talking about would be possibly these numbers in in the sense that these are the numbers that the coordinate measuring machine will give you for uh, these these different locations. For example, what J would require, this is a bushing along this axis. J would be interested in the nominal location of this point in space. And also, this point is in a nominal plane. He would be interested in the normal vector to that point in that plane. And so we have to take the artist rendition of this. The artist rendition is the nominal point for this hole and three points on the surface of this plane. And so what we do is we take those three points and convert it into a normal vector. But anyway, that's just elaborating on what, what Jay has talked about. Now, in the, in, in, in so far as computed gauge points, when the part is manufactured, it's manufactured against these two holes, OK? But what is of interest to the customer is they want to fit a suspension unit into, it's going to connect in here. There's a gap here between this bushing and looking in this view, there's a hole here. So a part goes in here, and then another part goes in here. So they are more interested in the relationship of, of these dimensions with, with respect to each other than they are to, to these dimensions necessarily to the way the part was manufactured. Basically, this is not, I would assume this is the target shape for right. the frame, and the feature is going to be more like in a plane, which is probably something like that. It's not a feature. And you're gauging this hole, which is not in the same plane as the target shape. So that's why the collapser is there to map from this frame to more or less the frame that would be on the plane of the nominal feature. It's extremely important. Is, isn't that more appropriate in the case of Austin or overall? So yeah, you'll see in the case of Austin, it's going to different it's models. So it's a, it's a spacing wagon may have a sheet metal half an inch away from right. the end. 